Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back. How's my people out there? Welcome back. So, y'all know, look at these eyes. I have had no sleep. And I'm afraid to go back to sleep because I think Dad's going to keep streaming. So, I'm like, Lord, we done consummated this wedding for two days now. And that's, that's a joke within himself. It's a joke. But he's still going. It's still flowing. He's it's insane the stuff that um is flowing through here so um to god be all the glory so if i sound tired and raspy i just drug myself and took a shower and tried to put some makeup on look halfway decent to do the other two videos because i was like dad i need to sleep can okay, you sleep i need, I need to sleep. <laughs> i'm asleep so let's go into the other two visions these happen like streams they were back to back to back to back to back and after this, I'm going to go to sleep. So I'm hoping this is it for today. But it's my, you know, not my will. Thy will be done. So, um, and uh, for everyone new to the channel, hi, my name is V. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. You've been divinely guided to attain a piece of the puzzle. Um, a little piece that's missing so that you can actually put the puzzle together. Or you might take a whole pie. You might take a little bit of the pie. You might just find like a nibble on the crumbs. You know, whatever you need. So um, we're happy you're here and you found us. So welcome to the channel. I know I don't say it, but please hit the like, share, and subscribe it, um, buttons. If you find this information to be useful for other people, share the information um because it's easier to just say here here's a video hit that share button below so you can say girl i ain't got time to explain to you but look i'm gonna send this video to you um and it should clear everything up because a lot of this stuff if you go through back through the videos is real heavy and to try to explain it um ain't nobody got time for that we got no to waste time we got stuff that we got to be doing we're moving so you know please feel free to do that to my old jeez where is and my old jeez Let's get into it. So I need to explain the backstory on this. Um, these all happen back to back in less than 24 hours. This stuff is so hot. It's like bread coming out the oven right now. Can you smell it? Because it's, it's bread. <laughs> I got that dead bread. See, he be throwing stuff at me like that all the time. And I just be like, he said bread of life. Yeah, he's still on them. Yeah, the joy. It's, it's, I, I posted some in the community tab. You might want to check it out. So, um. I don't even post all of them. So, so this one is, I have to explain the backstory. So, um, I see things sometimes 20 years, sometimes 15 years in advance, sometimes, you know, just years in advance sometimes. Um, and then I can see something today for tomorrow. It doesn't matter but i it, god uses me in different ways so this one has been a reoccurring dream i will probably say for at least the last 12 years it's a reoccurring dream so i don't know if you know but you ever had a dream where it's like it seems like a nightmare and you're stuck in it and you just don't know how to get out of it well, let me tell y'all check out the community tag because there's some pictures there last night it changed so um i'm gonna explain the dream and coincidentally which is interesting i don't know what holy spirit is doing with it but i just flow with them however he decides to flow um i actually wrote a movie about this which is really um a portion of this which is really interesting and i didn't even know what i was doing at the time um, but i was just following instructions i was like lord i'll go ahead and follow the instructions so um not even a movie or script writer, but, you know, unless God does it. But he had me write about this. And he's been bringing this back for the last 12 years. So I'll have this dream. And it's a reoccurring kind of like, it's good unless you do the wrong thing, which I'm explaining. And I mean, it's not bad, but if you do the wrong thing, then it is. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Let me um, close some of these screens, y'all. So in this dream, um... And I know I've been, I've had this dream at least nine times. Oh, that's our little air freshener back, so I apologize. I've had this dream at least, um, automatic air freshener. I've had this dream at least nine times, at least minimum, okay? And um, I bind you, Stanley, in the name of Jesus. He's been doing stuff with my, he's doing it. He's doing stuff with my life still. He's pissed, okay? Because after the boxing um, video, he sent a freak tornado to Anna Atlanta. So sorry, Atlanta. Sorry, guys. It is what it is. Um, yeah, Stanley does that. So he's he's upset. He's just real 
salty right now. Which we're going to keep them in some Salt Bay. We're going to keep them in Salt Bay. <laughs> so, anyway, it's a dream that I had at least nine times. And in the dream, it's interesting. I'm in um, kind of in like a national forest. But in the forest, there's this one road that, one road, just one, that you can take out of the whole forest. So you can go through the whole forest, but if you take this one road, then I'm going to just like it, guys. Then um, it's a bad road. So, and I'll explain that. So if you decide to take, it's like a side street in the forest. And each time I can clearly see the name. It begins with an R. I don't remember. If I remember, I'll put it down in the description. It begins with an R. And I, I see the, the sign very clearly each time. It's green and everything. And the road is thinner than the rest of the roads and the, like the highway roads to the forest. You know, um, I'm in Georgia. So I don't know if you guys know like Stone Mountain here. So if you're familiar with Stone Mountain, Stone Mountain has like these um, streets that go through it. But there's some thinner roads that you can go on. So it's like one of the thinner roads in Stone like like imagine like stone mountain but totally thick with trees which is probably going to be the the beginning picture here so i don't know the name of the road but it begins with r so i took this road again this time almost every time i'm on a bicycle in the dream too the beginning when i first started having the dream i was actually walking through this place and um, now lately I'm on a bicycle. Um, so, you know, it's progressed a little bit, but it's still the same exact dream. So I don't even realize that I've gotten to this part of the, um, it's like a movie until I turn down this road. Okay. in this dream. And now because I've had the dream so many times, I realize it and I turn back around and come out. But for, um, for I'll usually come out of this one little road but I don't realize it until I've already started walking down the road and I would continue down this road and it was really really dangerous and I'll explain so um so qu tonight coincidentally I realized relatively quickly um that I was down this road and I said oh no I know where I am let me turn around before I've before I've seen this road right and um pay attention and to explain, when you turn down this road, it's very quiet. It seems like nothing is there. It's very, very dangerous. And animals are watching you. I can feel the presence in the forest. The whole forest, you know, like is alive to me and I can feel it. But I feel a presence here in this, um, this one road. Okay, so it's kind of like, thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, it's kind of like snakes in the grass. I'm going to link snakes in the grass here. Let me put that down here. Um, so I remember... So I do remember to do it, the video. So it's very dangerous. Animals are watching you the whole way. You're going down this road in front. Um, oh, you're going down this road. And then um, from going down this road in previous dreams, the animals get more dangerous as you go down this thin road. Okay. And um, I'm going to explain that too. But they never move usually typically they don't move until you're trapped down the road so they just sit and wait and watch you down this thin road okay pick this up in the spiritual realm all of it um and they wait until you're trapped but they never move until you're trapped okay by tonight but tonight um so back to my dream so tonight i turn around almost immediately whenever i see this road because i know in my dream okay i know where i am and I turn around almost immediately and I literally um, start pedaling at top speed and looking behind me because I know the animals are about to come out. Um, so I look and I see a tiger and a cheetah and all these anim all these dangerous animals that can literally run at top speed. And they're like looking at me like I'm meat, basically. Um, but tonight, this time... I saw an eagle too, very clearly, a very big eagle. And I put an eagle in the community chat, so check it out. But it was a very big eagle. And um, and the eagle looked fierce. So I go, uh, as I go, I'm like, oh, God. So I need to bike faster. So I start to bike faster. And I was going at the fastest I could go because there had to be more animals than I've ever seen climbing over the wall to get me. So um, I'm going to stop here for a second to explain what happens typically. So in, um, in different times that I've had the dream, 
I've gone like halfway down this road and like I'm as I'm going down, I'm sensing like something is really, really wrong on off here. And it's like the animals wait want to wait until you're completely trapped in and then they start to attack and you start to hear them. So um I was like, wait, 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 what's going on? So, you know, each time in the dream, it's like, um, thank you, Holy Spirit, it's like Mario Brothers at different levels. And like, I realized I'm like, okay, yeah, no, I don't want to go down here, you know, because and when I first started having the dream, I would go off and when it would go off, I would be like, what just happened? You know, I'd wake up and it was like, did I, am I here? You know, and then I learned in each one and I was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. So in this one, I, I didn't even get like a third down the road and I was like, oh no. And I turn around and when I do, I look to my left and I see this, like, it's sort of like a partially brick wall and the partially brick wall the animals were hiding and there had to be about 35 or 40 of them and like i said there was a cheetah there was the eagle for the first time there was a, a lot was that a lion it was a tiger it wasn't a lion it was a tiger and other dangerous animals snakes were calling over the wall stuff different stuff right and um they were all looking like, yeah, okay, yeah. And they were waiting for me to go further down the road. And what they do in this in this actual um, dream each time is as I move, they move, but I never hear them, right? So, you know, in this dream, I never hear them. So um, I never hear them moving or um, they assign to other animals down the road to like literally attack. Pay attention. So, you know, I'm pedaling back and I'm pedaling at top speed and I look to my left not my right, to my left. And when I look to my left, I see them all climbing over the wall at once. Like they were, they all came out of hiding. And like, normally they don't do that. They'll like, you know, they literally come out one by one or, you know, something like that. But they all came out at the same time. So um, they're all climbing over this road, like get her before she gets to the end of this road. And it's really weird because in this dream that I've had recurrently, the the thin road where the actual name of the road begins with the R um, is, is the only road that I know that they do that on. But if you stay on the main road, you don't experience that. There's certain parts that are just different, um, but you don't experience it as much. It's like they're kind of like stuck on this road, right? And the road looks even more, thank you, Holy Spirit, thank you, Holy Spirit, looks even more inviting than the main road. Cause you know, you're like, oh, let's go wander off on this road. So, um, so if you get, if you get to the main road, they, it's like they can't come any further. So I was trying to get back to the main road as quickly as possible. Okay. And I'm picking up top speed. So I'm biking at top speed and then they're coming over this wall right? And it's almost like I can't go any more faster for me for some reason. Um, for some reason, um, my son was with me and he's on the back of the bike. And it's I think it's because he's been working, you know, and so much like and all that stuff. So he was tired. <laughs> and I'm biking with him on my back. And I'm like, um, he's he's asleep and knocked out. I don't even know how that's possible but in this dream it was. And the the faster I'm biking, I'm going at type speed and I'm like, my son's name is Jay. And I'm like, Jay, Jay, I'm trying to wake him up. You know, when I'm seeing these animals, I'm Jay. And um, he's like, like, he doesn't even hear me. He's like, he's knocked out. And I'm like, oh God, he doesn't even hear me. So I'm like, so I'm like biking, 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 biking. He's like knocked out. And it's, you know, he's been busy and doing stuff and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and he's knocked out on the bike. So I'm hightailing it out of this forest at top speed. And I come to the area where it's coming um, out to the this road. And it's almost like the animals can't go any further but on this road. But they can go if they, um, if, I'm trying to think, no. Um, they can't go any further than this road. Okay, so they're kind of like trapped on this road. It's kind of interesting. So I just want to see I'm seeing here. So I'm pedaling my little feet off. So, um, no, okay, well, that's what I meant. Yeah, so they can follow you on the main road, but they stay kind of on, the, it's like a barrier. They stay away from you. So on this, I just wanted to get off this little R road, whatever it was. Um, so I'm pedaling my little feet off, and it's almost like my tires are not even touching the road after a while, which is really interesting. Because that's the first time I have it. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm pedaling, and I'm pedaling. And um, let's see. And it's almost like my tires not touching the road, except I can hear them. So I can hear them, but it's like they're not touching the road, right? Which is interesting. So um, 
give it a minute, cut it, cut it. Then all of a sudden I stop hearing my tires. And I'm like, what is going on? And I look down and I'm looking and I'm off the ground. I'm completely off the ground. Like I'm not, I'm off the ground. Like, okay, so he said to say, so like in the movie E.T., I'm going to go ahead and put that scene here. Remember the scene in E.T. where Elliot is Viking? <laughs> <laughs> so cool so if y'all getting it y'all getting it if y'all following these videos y'all getting it it's it's the scene where like elliot is off the ground and he's like he's biking and all of a sudden his he's not biking anymore something has picked him up and the, and it's like the et has picked him up and it's it's flying he's flying with it so it's like that i'm not on the ground anymore so and i'm like okay this, this is like this movie scene so um and I'm lifted off the ground on the bike. And I need to say this here, which in the last 24 hours, my my dreams are like 3D movies. I said it, not even 3D, it's 12D, 12D movies. It's insane. Like, I can't even explain. It's just stuff like, it's like in the movie, surrounds out. It's crazy. So, um, so I'm looking up and I'm, you know, because I'm like, who is doing this? And I'm looking up, like, who is doing this? And I can't see who's doing it. But I can hear these wings flapping. But I know it's a big eagle. So it's so big, I can't even see it. I, I, just, I just see black above. And it's touching me, but it's not touching me. I can't even explain it, y'all. It's touching me, but and I can hear its wings flapping. It literally picked me up. and Right? And... um which is interesting. And I, it felt so good. In the dream. <laughs> and I actually giggled in real life. Like I, I was in the dream and I heard myself giggle in my sleep. And it was so interesting because, okay, God, once I explain this here. So like, even as I was a little kid and it still happens, you know, periodically, um, when angels come, they come and tickle me at night and they, and I giggle. It is what it is. I giggle. And I can hear myself giggling in real life, like it, it, in my, out of my dream. So I'll be like giggling. I was butt gusting laughing at this, like literally as butt gusting laughing. And I could feel the angels were there. So, and it felt so good in the dream. And I actually giggled in real life, of course. And the dream was like 12D movie. So everything was super sensitive. The movie, like the movie glasses and surround sound. So, so you know, like so, so forth. So, um, he will carry you on eagle's wings. And what the name of this one is, he hasn't given me a name, but I am going to, so far it's the forest wall, restoration of all things better than before. So the same path that I've taken a million times, here this in the spiritorium, the same one that I feared, the same one that I had to make adjustments for, the eagle picked me up and guided me to safety. And that was it. That was the end of the dream. And that is for you guys. So um, pay attention. Uh, he wants me to put this here too, because I've been experiencing, I've been putting in the community tab, like pic actual pictures. So pay attention to all the signs. God is giving tons of signs, tons of signs. They're like road signs. They're like car signs. They're like, you know, in your email, the numbers, everything. So pay attention to the signs. You cannot miss them right now. You have to pay attention to them. They are key. Pay attention to the signs. It is like, thank you, Holy Spirit. Come through, come through, come through. You can't drive on a road. If you don't pay attention to the signs, because you don't know what's up ahead if you don't look at the signs. So he wants you to pay attention to the signs. And and a lot of these I've noticed for me, he's like being joyful. So pay attention. Or he's giving you hints or indicators or clues or something. Pay attention to the signs. You Thank you, Holy Spirit, come through. You can't pass the road test if you don't pass the sign test. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. So, yeah. So, I also encourage you to look in the community tab because there's a cool um, something that I post. It's about an eagle that goes through TSA. I don't remember if you guys knew uh, or if you remember this story, but it, it, this eagle goes through TSA pre-check and he literally caught everybody's attention. His name is Clark, which coincidentally means, guess what? Clergy, strength, and I think it's ability. Y'all can't make this up so that's the end of this one i have one more i think to me unless i go back to sleep i'm so tired i want to go back to sleep so i'll talk to you later guys bye